Now coming to S4 HANA, I have talked about a lot in S4 HANA. This would be working on only on HANA database. XYZ database does not work. It would be having a version multiple year. Every year, a new version would be coming. It's starting from 2015, 15, 11, 16, 10, 1709, 1809, 1909. Initially till this part, and this question would still be there in the certification. I don't know what answer need to be given for that. Because when the questions are not updated, sometimes answers are also not updated. But if the question asked in the certification, you still go with the old answer. That first two digits are the year. And last two digits are the month on which it would be, we would be releasing it. Okay. First two digit is year and last two digit is month on which it would be releasing. It was released in 2017 in the September month. As we first thought that they would be coming it with the multiple version in a year and then later on they realized even one version is too much for the clients. One version is too much for the consultants to understand it, right? They said, okay, we are coming with one version in a year. So let's put a let's simplify and give a year name from 2020. They said whatever the version we are coming in 2020 would be 2020 version, 2021 version, and 2022 version. The latest version from SAP right now is 2022 version. Uh, somewhere in next two three months, we are expecting a 2023 versions. Our labs get updated in the month of February generally. We shift it to the new version. Uh, this time we'll be waiting for FPS. Generally, we move to FPS 0. This time we'll be moving it to FPS 1, 2023, because that is more stable, FPS 1. And that will be doing somewhere around February and March next year, to moving it to 2023 server. Okay. Now, the major shift is, which you need to understand, 1511 was very initial. The major shift is ECC to S4 HANA. When they have moved from ECC to S4 HANA, that time the major shift come, a lot of things change. So that you need to first understand what is the difference between ECC to S4 HANA. Okay. And then a lot of things they have brought in 1610, a lot of things they have brought in 1709. They have brought the integration with the uh, EWM, embedded EWM, embedded PPDS, they brought it, right? AATP, they brought it in 1610 itself, advanced available to promise. Integrated TM, they brought it in 1709. And then they have improved this AATP, they have continuously improved. Within 1709 or 1809, they bring it up DDMRP. Then here, within some part, they brought it up flexible Fury workflows. So whatever the things they have brought it in these initial servers, they made sure that in given year to year to year, they have added more functionality to it. More function and features has been added. AATP has improved like anything. DDMRP has improved like anything. Somewhere in this part, they introduced predictive MRP. So when they now, when they are changing from one server to another server, the major functionality, the high level functionality they have already introduced. Now they are working on to add more applications to it to so that it can be more user friendly to use it. So under DDMRP, under predictive MRP, under EWM, PPDS, TM, AATP, whatever the things they have added, they are trying to improve it. So when they go from one version to another version, what major changes we see? We see the bug fixes. Okay. And we see a lot of Fury applications. There can be a new Fury applications because for each and every transaction, there is not a separate Fury application created. So they are keep on adding that Fury application for different business function. So you will see the new Fury application. You will see the improvements in the Fury applications. There is a session which I have done that how you need to make sure that you, you begin once you go on, once you have taken the excellence training after that, how you make need to make sure that you would be up to date with all of the server changes, right? 
every year some changes are coming. So you need to up to date for that and how you can make yourself up to date. I have done one session which is available in Step Up Circle. With Step Up Circle, there is one session available that every year when every now and then the changes are coming in SAP system, how you can make sure as a functional consultant, you became, became up to date. That is available, right? So the improvements, new changes, and uh, improve uh, uh, Fury applications, the improvement in Fury application, and then SAP is also focusing a lot to bring the changes related to your, related to the uh, integration. You will see a lot of technical thing has been introduced, which is not bothering you. 70% things they will be introducing nowadays is the technical thing, like they are coming with OData's. They are coming with the uh, new CDS views. They are coming with the new APIs. This is to make sure that this system can be integrated, more integrated with the other system, especially with the other cloud system. It should be able to get more integrated with. It would be able to give you more reportings. The SSC and other things, uh, the data can be fetched easily and more reportings can be given. And APIs has been built so that this system can be integrated with the outside system or with the more uh, cloud system. It should be able to get integrated with. Okay. So this is the part we are basically uh, SAP is working on. This is the changes you would be receiving it. We try to create uh, in the step up circles, which we do it on Sunday evening. We try to uh, speak on uh, the changes. Uh, I have done a series already that what was the changes in 2021 system. I have done a series for a few modules for 2022 system. That would be available in the step up circle. And we also cut those part whenever we talk about the changes. And we put it in our dynamic course content, which is the excellence module, excellence to ST, excellence to MM, excellence to PP. We have a dynamic content, which we keep on updated. As soon as I see a new function feature, I have tested it. I know about it. I would be getting it introduced into the uh, our dynamic content. You would already seen that there's a lot of things which has been added in last two, three years, additional videos, you will see it. For business partner, there are a lot of changes happening in the last two, three years. N new address related functionalities. The address can be automatically selected into the uh, SD modules, those functionalities. Uh, we can have a, a one business partner, but uh, multiple vendors and mul multiple uh, customers uh, can be created. Those functionalities are the new functionalities you will find already in our excellence videos for that. Because I have worked on that when I see that, okay, this is the change. So that we'll be introducing. So our excellence and our uh, uh, mastery, there's a dynamic content. We call it as a dynamic content because we keep on changing. Whenever I think that, okay, I have I have introduced some new thing, explained new thing, we'll cut that portion and we'll insert it in our dynamic contents. With that, you would be able to understand that uh, uh, what are the, different versions are there and what kind of changes happens when SAP goes from one version to another version.